So our breakfast usually consists of uh, four pieces of bread. So they will pass it through our full latch. Good morning, bro. Good morning, uh. Then we will take our mug. So put it here. Once we give them our dedication tea or coffee, then we will bring yeah. in. Yeah. After this, this door will close. People might wonder if it's safe for inmates to use this type of tools in this workshop. Lah. But as you can see, the tools here, they are chained. When they come to the kitchen, right, we'll monitor their attitude and their performance. And we'll see who is suitable for which location. So like say, veggie cutting area requires a lot of cutting and grinding. So we need inmates here with the correct composure and correct mind to perform this style task. Uh, okay, now you can arrange. There will be chefs from the Singapore Airport Terminal Services, in short sets, who will be here to educate and guide the inmates on how to prepare the meals. The kitchen caters for six to eight different diets approved based on the dietitian recommendation. We have normal, non meat, soft diet, which means minced diet, off chili for people who can't take spicy food. Low purine for people who can't take things like tofu and low sugar for inmates who have diabetes. The kitchens will ensure that the daily protein and vegetable nutrition requirement is catered for for the inmates. Every day they have different types of food. Food production is done on an industrial scale. The inmates are the one preparing the meals ensuring that the inmates, right, they get the proper amount of food. The food, after it's being packed, is placed in these food trolleys. These food trolleys will ensure the food is kept warm until it reaches the inmates. So Wednesday afternoon, usually we eat uh, mi or bihun. So today is mi goreng. Uh. Uh, this one is like totally, uh, if give point like zero to ten, I will say maybe it's maybe it's zero. <laughs> because it's very cold, then sometimes the mi also hardened already. Usually after eating, I still feel hungry. Portion to me is not enough. Uh, for lunch, usually we don't have uh, meat. Dinner time, we have two breast chicken uh, or fish. Over the years, uh, I really start to adapt the food, but eventually I still miss the food outside. Uh. The way we being served or what is like uh, being treated as pet uh, in the cage. Uh. For me, it's definitely uh, hard. Uh. B1 is uh, one of the maximum security prisons. We hold about 500 plus inmates. Okay, uh, Bravo can grab me a day room one slider. The cells that we have here in B1 is special in a way that it's all single man cell. In other places, you have three man cell, a four man cell, and eight man cells. Over here, you see the image cell door. All right, it consists of uh, three key items over here, which is the viewing panel, and we have two apertures, one on top and one below. There's this portion where, which is perforated, so from here we can hear and talk to the image inside. It is not encouraged to talk through the aperture because. Um, you know, we do not know what they have up their sleeve. They can throw things or they can grab all your items nearby the aperture. All right, so the poster you see over here is uh, basically the uh, cell layout which the inmates have to follow. Uh, they are given a set of items inside the cell. So when it's time for master check, 
they have to arrange the items according to the poster which is uh, given over here. The image will be given a clear pail, a soap box, uh, a mug with a cover. All right. Uh, it's uh, transparent so that staff can see what, what they are hiding inside. They are given a plastic spoon right, for them to use when they eat their meal. And we have uh, a set of uh, toothbrush and toothpaste. The toothpaste is made in a way that it's clear and you can see things inside. If they were to hide anything inside, yeah, uh, it will be visible for staff to see. And if you see the toothbrush over here, it is made in a way that it's uh, very short because if they were to use this as a weapon, uh, I would say pretty much it won't cause much damage compared to a longer toothbrush. Each inmate will also get two blankets, big enough to cover the whole body. Last but not least, we have the straw mat uh, for them to lay out and sleep on the hard ground. If they want it to be more cushioned, then they will just fold the blanket in a way and make it like a mattress. This is the toilet area where the inmate go to the toilet and also take a shower. So the CCTV will capture everything inside uh, the cell, including the toilet area as well. So if they go to the toilet to know to do their business or they will, if they were to take a shower, uh, we can see everything. At night, the CCTVs that is inside the cell are equipped in a way that they, have, they can see in the dark. This is a one-man cell setting. It can be psychologically small in a way if you are cooped up here for a very long time. For the weekend, uh, it's really a uh, very big impact. Very, very big impact. For 48 hours, uh, knowingly knowing that your perimeter is only this much, it, it really uh, disturbs. Uh, the mind and the body as well. My wax, my moisturizer, my my lip balm, my lotion, these are all the things that I don't have here. Lah. Before I came here, I was a fitness trainer. I was living a high life, a luxurious life. People wanting to get a car, to get a bike, to get a house, to get uh, every single thing. I managed to get it all done uh, before even I hit 30. Uh, for this time, my sentence, I, I was caught uh, trespassing to Istana. During that time, I was in a high in a drug. I just tend to follow my thoughts, and I like to uh, go to places that are uh, eventually uh, uh, interesting or unique. When when I was being caught, I have a drug utensil with me. I was sentenced to three years imprisonment um, for drug consumption and four months uh, for drug utensil possession. The blankets is the most, uh, for me, important one because the blanket can change to become pillow. Then we have plastic spoon, usually I think you guys use only once. Yes, this thing is like one year plus with me. One year plus, yeah, this one, uh, tasteless. Made from China. Yeah, totally this one, I don't know why they give us. Uh, I think maybe budgeting or what, but it doesn't give any effect. Yeah, totally, seriously. So, because I, I'm a worker, so I, this thing uh, is uh, the, not the normal soap. So this one uh, is quite good, better than the normal soap. The normal soap one is too dry, way too dry. 